Don't let them rain down on- No, will you get back? Will you <laughs> no, don't pull him back down! Let go of that man's dick! What's wrong with you? Oh my god, this is so close! <gasps> oh, I thought a knight crushed him. Are you alive? He's alive! We're good! <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done in this game. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And before we get started with today's episode, I wanted to let you guys know that I think next video is gonna be combat battles. I feel like that's something that people have been asking for a lot. If that is something you wanna see, then be sure to leave a like on this video, but more importantly, leave your comment with an army for me to face off against. Because I can't have a combat battle video without comments. Now, I think I still have a few from past videos. I've asked a few times now, but I still want to give people a chance to enter. You know, people that are new to the channel, that kind of thing. So leave a comment with your army. I'll pin some rules down there. Be sure to follow them to be considered. And we'll see just how many of you I can beat next time. Now for today's episode, I want to try a little challenge called Protect the Hobbit. No matter what level I'm playing, no matter what I want my army to be, there is always going to be Blumpkin the Hobbit. And the problem is, he's both very important and a little drunk. And when he gets drunk, he wants to fight, but we don't want him to fight because if he dies, we lose. Even if we win the battle, if he's dead, we don't get to move forward. So we need to be both babysitter and mass murderer. We'll start things off in a level called Ice Archers and Friends, where those friends seem to be headbutters and berserkers. We're gonna jump over anything I place and go straight for Blumpkin. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. I don't have a whole lot of money here, so I'm gonna have to be really tactical. I'm thinking we might want a bit of a personal security detachment for Blumpkin. We can surround him with samurai. They can deflect arrows and fight off any melee units that get through, but the important thing is that no melee units get through. And I'm not really sure how we're gonna do that. Maybe flintlock pistols, and in front of them, we'll have some skeleton archers to get jumped on. I'm really going for quantity over quality here because I don't feel confident in having just a few good units. They'll just make a beeline for the VIH, technically. <laughs> All right, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. Just pray for Blumpkin. Oh, okay. Well, they fired all of their guns, but they didn't kill any of the berserkers. No, no, don't, don't jump in there for the love of God. Keep him safe. <laughs> Is he okay? He's still okay. He's still, oh my God, he's killing people. <laughs> and jacking them off. Uh, no, that that's not okay. Oh my God, no, he was the last one to die. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, my army did exactly what I wanted from them, except win. I feel good about the samurai. I think they did good there. It was just the skeletons that fell apart. And the flintlocks got jumped on. They fired their guns and then died instantly. So what if we try vampires instead? They can hopefully make a beeline for these archers. That would help me out a whole lot. And then I need a nice cheap unit that can hopefully kill melee units, maybe farmers? We just get farmers out here in the middle of the frozen tundra, would they be able to do anything? Probably not. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about this. Okay, well the initial dive went down on the vampires. That's good. Can you please just take a breather? <laughs> Can somebody get this guy a coffee or some bread? Just anything to settle in his stomach. Oh, oh, where is he? Where is, oh there he is. I keep losing him, he's so little. The samurai are doing a great job. Look at this formation. They're, they're protecting him like the president. <laughs> it's worked perfectly. I, I honestly didn't think I would win a single level today. I'm not gonna lie because did I mention that this is the difficult campaign? Like this is considered the challenge. It's not supposed to be easy. Of course they're mixing it up, right? Why wouldn't they? It's not like I'm already handicapped by this hobbit. So we're facing off against shield bearers and sarissas, Spartans and snake archers. It's just a medley of units that start with the letter S for some reason. Either way, it's something we haven't faced off against before. We just need to figure out what's good against tight formations and shields. I'm thinking maybe catapults, maybe some spooky catapults. 
problem is those snakes are gonna tear us apart and I don't have a lot of money to defend these guys with. What's good against a snake? Oh, a club! Yeah, of course! People have been clubbing snakes since the beginning of time! I'm sure five clubbers will be able to get the job done. I don't feel good about this at all. We need some really lucky bounces out of these pumpkins. Please don't shoot at the snakes. Please shoot at anything. Just, okay, when I said, oh, oh, that was not where you were aiming at all. You are so lucky. For some reason, they all decided to come down this alleyway and it doesn't matter because the snakes ruined everything. Yeah, pumpkin catapults wasn't the direction we should have gone. What is wrong with this Spartan? Don't they normally throw your kind off a cliff when you're born? <laughs> How did you manage to get through? And what is going on with this pumpkin? You're not doing anybody any favors. So that didn't go according to plan in the slightest. I don't think they stayed in one alleyway. It looks like most of them went to the top alley. So what if we just focus on one area? I'm pretty sure the bone mages should be able to tear through a bunch of shield bears. We could even try using our own hoplites. Something like that. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe? The snakes are such a weird thing to face off against. You can't exactly put your finger on how to counter them. Oh, we got one squeaker. Uh, not good. Not good. He he's gonna run into the VIH. <laughs> this is not what we wanted. Okay, you know what? You're gonna have to kill him. Snap his neck. Oh, good move. Good, stay alive. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> you drunken rabble, you. Just punch him in the dick. You, you got this. There we go. Ground pound. How is he actually winning? Oh, he he isn't. We, wow, we didn't even come kind of close to winning. <laughs> Thought we were doing well. I feel like my biggest issue right now is no matter what unit I choose, it's just going to be staring at its feet, trying to figure out how to hit a snake, waiting to get pummeled by these Spartans. So why don't I just fight snakes with snakes? We can shoot snakes back at them, see how they like it. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have the same effect. Right? Yeah, there we go. We can bite some dicks if we wanted to. Snakes, okay, don't take that out of context. What happened? No! The snakes went for the snake archers first! <laughs> Things are going so well, kind of. Uh, where's Blumpkin? Where's Blumpkin? Guys? Oh, I'm gonna have to search through the bodies. Is he still alive? No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is impossible. Wait, 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 wait. This isn't like the other campaigns. We have access to the secret units, which means the clam jam is so getting in there. <laughs> this should be easy mode now, right? Like, nothing beats the clams, except we do need to protect them from the snakes. So again, we need somebody on snake duty. Uh, what would be able to lead snakes away from my unit? Oh, wait, what if we went with birds, right? We could have you guys just play the Pied Piper and hopefully keep them safe. That seems like it would make sense. Hopefully snakes are fans of the banjo. No, 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 come on, clams, defend your masters. You can do it! I believe in you, yes! That actually worked, kind of. Come on guys, you, you gotta go faster, he's coming. No, 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 he's here, he's here, he's here. Throw more clams. Good, 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 this alleyway's clear. How are we doing over here? Keep the snakes away from him, he's allergic to snakes, yes! Oh, thank God. You are alive, right? Yes, he's good. Up next, we have a level called Knight and His Friends, and it seriously feels like every single time I come up with a strategy, they just adopt it. Like, oh, you used bards to trick us? Well, guess what? Now we have bards, and you better be ready for one super pissed off holy knight. Oh, what are we gonna use against him? I think we might be able to just mow them down. I mean, maybe we can shoot them from a distance? with balloon archers? 
I was thinking ice archers, but Balloon might be able to get the job done. Yeah, and we'll have a couple of painters back here just uh, conversing with Blumpkin, hopefully keeping him away from the battle. Oh, please work. <laughs> right? It doesn't matter if you're a holy knight if you're not moving forward. Hopefully. I'm not looking to do damage. I'm just looking to keep you in place. No, don't, don't move forward. Crap, this was a bad idea. I didn't think about the fact that ranged units won't be able to stop him from going into battle. No, no, keep him away from the Holy Knight. No. No, keep him in the air, please. No, okay, that, that's a minor concussion. Oh, and he's dead. That, this would have worked. Look at this. This is a flawless plan. You ruined everything. This is just such an extra like, facet of difficulty because it adds a timer and it makes it so that I can't use certain strategies. Like, this would have without a doubt worked. We didn't lose a single balloon archer. It just needs time and we don't have time because Blumpkin isn't gonna sober up. This guy's been bouncing his skull off the ground for the better part of three minutes, which means this wasn't even close. Like we need to go way faster. I don't know how I feel about this idea, but I'm gonna try it anyway. If we use a ballista, we put it right in the middle, maybe it'll be smart enough to shoot the knight? Maybe? If it hits a bard, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Balloon archers were good, right? We can keep using them. And then, again, we'll have a painter back here, hopefully just, like, body blocking you. <laughs> maybe he'll just, like, Catch a sword and then his job will be done. Please shoot the knight, shoot the knight. For the love of God, just shoot that knight. All you have to do, yes! Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ballista. Everything from here on out is gravy, right? We should be able to take care of squires, no problem. If you want to demolish a priest, all the more power to you. Crap, crap, crap. Somebody help him, somebody. Good, good, good. Thank you. Don't let them rain down on- No, will you get back? Will you <laughs> no, don't pull him back down! Let go of that man's dick! What's wrong with you? Oh my god, this is so close! <gasps> oh, I thought a knight crushed him. Are you alive? He's alive! We're good! <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done in this game. Moving on to a level called Bullhorn, and I don't know why it's called that. I feel like I'm missing something. I swear to God, if a Minotaur comes out of that cave, I am gonna be pissed. <laughs> they already have two chieftains and a bunch of other units. I don't know how I'm gonna face off against this many of them. A lot of them have shields, so arrows aren't gonna do a whole lot. I could use guns, but something like the Blunderbuss isn't really gonna do anything. It's got all that armor without any ranged units. Seems like a waste. I wouldn't mind bomb throwers, but I'm hesitant to use bomb throwers. I feel like it'd be really easy to accidentally blow up the VIH. <laughs> Maybe we could also toss in vampires? Right? I don't know if shield bearers would do very good against vampires. Pin them down and suck on them. Might work. I feel like we don't have enough units. They're just outnumbering us, and we're probably gonna be blowing up our own guys, which is a problem. Actually, if they can just uh, stay nice and grouped together. Oh, oh, baby! <laughs> That's no uh, what I'm talking about. No, 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 turn around, turn around, turn. Walk away, walk away! No! <laughs> Somebody help him! He's, he's just sleeping. Oh, okay, yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, we won! No way! That actually worked! If we hadn't killed him multiple times. After getting rope-a-dope by these snake archers for the better part of 15 minutes, I feel like I deserve to use them. We could have them fire into the crowd and then the shields don't really matter. Like, I get six units and my money is almost done and they have like 30, 20 something at least. What else could I get? I'll, I'll get some bards to distract, because that's all I'm looking to do here is buy time, even though not really. I don't want to buy time, I want to go fast. I, I need to kill these things as quickly as possible, but there aren't many good cheap units. <laughs> I'm thinking skeleton warriors. Maybe if you guys can spook them away, you can keep them away from Blumpkin? Possibly, hopefully. Okay, we got a bunch of snakes in there. I should have used the clams. 
I should have definitely broken out a couple of clams. Okay, the birds are running away and distracting. This is exactly what we need. Oh, crap. No, no. Why are you here? Why are you here already? Can somebody please keep an eye on him? Good, good. He's got his hand stuck in this guy's loincloth. Don't ask, okay? Whatever Blumkin's into, just don't ask. No, no, take, take him down, take him down. You got this, little buddy. Oh, oh, he took one right on the chin. And he's dead. Can't take that many clubs on the chin. Oh my God, every time. Would we have won this time? No. This was definitely gonna be a loss no matter what. So what was the problem here? Might have been all the dicking around. Not from the Hobbit, from uh, my units, right? Too much chasing. We just followed the bard too much and spooked units away and then had to chase them and just didn't really do us any favors. I, I keep thinking that all I need to do is buy time and I'll eventually win, but this stupid handicap changes the way the game is played. I'm not trying to buy time. I need to win now. I almost felt like the Harvester is really good against melee units. Like, maybe I'm wrong, but every time I face off against her, she feels borderline invincible. So we're gonna put two of them right up against the border. They're gonna get into battle immediately and hopefully do anything. We'll back her up with firework archers. Might they be able to screw up those shields and help from a distance, even though I need like more mass. I need more units so that there's a skirmish so that when the VIH shows up, he doesn't get targeted immediately. So what dummy could I use? Maybe flintlocks? We can delay their arrival so that they won't just waste their bullets on those shields. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this. As long as the harvester does her freaking job, can you? There we go, good. Just uh, cut them down. You're gonna get spanked by a whole bunch of boards, but hopefully people will show up and help you out at some point. <laughs> good. This is kind of working, right? Just fall like blades of grass. Oh crap, 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 crap. Uh, uh, no, no, he's going a little too fast, guys. He, he He's making a run for it. Yeah. I really need you guys to take them down. No, no. <laughs> Are we good? We're good. Oh, thank God. How does it always come down to the wire? Like he's always like right up in the nutsack of the last person alive. Well, that's just not fair. We're facing off against scary crows. Not to be confused with their distant cousin, Terry Crews. And they even moved the line back. So I'm gonna have to walk this huge distance to make it to them. I'm, I'm not walking a distance, screw it. I'm just gonna gun them down, right? I would imagine that fire is really good against scarecrows. And hopefully we can kill them this way a whole lot faster. I, I don't have time to screw around. We can't let the VIH cross that line. Okay, gun them down, guys. This isn't enough skeletons, I'll tell you right now. <gasps> Why did they bother moving the line up? If the crows can't even attack, they had to walk towards each other. Either way, that worked perfectly. I'm thinking that this campaign came out long before the spooky faction, so they didn't really anticipate me being able to just ignite these T-posing idiots. Do you remember how I said the Harvester has always felt borderline invincible every time I face off against her and it's really frustrating? It's almost like the game can hear me. We now have to face off against two of them in a level called Scythe, which doesn't seem like that big a deal, right? They're pretty far back. I should just be able to gun them down. I'm sure that the Musketeers can't miss that badly. I'm still gonna have a couple of painters protecting you, though. I feel like something weird is up, right? There's, there's no way that that's everything. Of course the Shire is hiding in the tall grass and you guys couldn't even kill her? You fired all of your bullets and hit her every time. Oh, this is just crap. <laughs> He's not gonna survive. There's no way. He's gonna get his salad tossed in that pile. <laughs> no, they're parading his corpse. <laughs> That's not okay. It's, it's seriously not okay. I don't appreciate that. 
So not only did multiple bullets through the chest not kill the harvesters, but we also have an undetermined number of hobbits hiding in the grass. It's like the world's worst Pokemon. I can't count them. Like, they're really well hidden. So, we're just gonna have to assume it's a, a lot. About a Shire's worth. I'm thinking Balloon Archers might be good again. Like, I want to put them up front so that we buy more time for the VIH. But I don't want them to get overrun. So, I, I need to come up with, like, a, a stupid little happy medium. And then, I'm gonna need something to fight these hobbitses with, aren't I? I don't like using melee units, though. Uh, no, uh, I, I don't know, I'm so indecisive. Okay, we'll go with clubbers. Maybe they can just club down these fools. Spent all my money, that's really all you can hope for, I suppose. What is with, what is with these balloon archers? They're just firing off in random directions. Guys, shoot forwards. <laughs> I shouldn't have to say these things. <laughs> You've got the Scythe Bearers slowed down and confused, I guess. But it's not gonna matter because he's dead again. I don't even know what they're doing. It's like some kind of weird reverse pile driver. <laughs> like, again, again, this wasn't even close. Like, even if I didn't have to protect the Hobbit, we would still lose. So what am I missing here? Like, these levels are super difficult. <laughs> You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. This was really fun. I really enjoy these weird little handicap challenges. The things that really spice up the game, and I would like to continue this because I haven't finished this campaign before. So if you guys want to see more of this, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know in a comment, but more importantly, give me recommendations for next episode. Give me armies, give me things to do so that I can continue making tabs videos. Thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.